So this is how it generally begins with the egg bound. You find the chicken that uh, is just kind of sitting there looking sad depending on how far it is it gets weaker and weaker the eyes will be kind of closed like they're falling asleep when you approach them they don't move they just kind of hang out and just stay there and if you leave them they just go weaker and weaker until they just And as you saw, they didn't run away. And if you look here, it's just pulsating. And the other thing is, is you generally find some poop. Because the egg and the poop come out of the same canal. And what happens is when it's getting ready to give you an egg, the part where the poop comes out shuts off and the egg will come out. Now, now what I have discovered so far is several things. According to my research, the most common thing is to put them in warm water with some Epsom salt for about 20 minutes or so. It helps them relax and uh, will take care of egg bound. So the research says I've never tried it. Now what has worked for me is this. The first thing I do is I feed it and give it water to bring its energy level down because when you have this pulsating of trying to, to get that egg out with those contractions, it's very exhausting and that's where they lose all their energy. What I have discovered is you bring that energy level back up, you lubricate the canal with some, uh, some something like KY jelly and some kind of personal lubricant, and uh, you put it in an area where it's nice and quiet and it'll take care of its business. So far, everyone that I've caught, I've been able to say, now, the ones that uh, wake up dead, when I come and see them, I can't do anything about that. So, let me go and take care of this character here and uh, bring this energy level up and uh, put it somewhere so he could uh, do his business. If I stand here for a little bit without talking, it'll close his eyes and go to sleep. There it is. So it's getting weaker by the minute. Let me go take care of it. All right, see you guys. Okay, so this character here is egg bound and how you can tell is it won't get up and it just gets weaker and weaker and weaker and uh, I don't know what this thing is here but this little section will turn white and hold on hold on let's see let's see show me what you got and this will be pulsating it's a constant... Oy. Well, anyway, it's moving around a lot. But if you look, it's a constant pulsating, like it's trying to expel the egg. Well, it is. It's like a contraction move. And if you don't catch it and feed it and give it water, it'll become dehydrated, weaker and weaker, and die. So right now... I'm going to put this camera down, I'm going to feed it, 
give it some water because it'll go downhill rapidly all right okay so with a little coaxing it eats on its own now and what I generally do is I put three different things I don't put any water I put a combination of chicken feet with a lot of water so that this way it can get a little bit of food and the water then this one here has a lot of water but it's a lot thicker and then this one here is just a normal feed and what she'll do is she'll pick the one she wants whether she needs more food more water she will pick whatever so after a while look if you notice the feathers back here they're moving and moving that is that contraction trying to get that egg out of there uh, what I will do in a little while I will put her in this box take her to the bathroom and give her some peace quiet and it will relax feel safe and then the egg will come out yeah okay let's see what happens okay so there it is my girl pushed it out this being the first as you can see it's a very soft shell and there's the egg yolk and the egg white was all over the straw so I will include a photo of this but uh, she is up and walking around with more energy her eyes are open and not so distressed well there she is as you can see and for some reason they feel secure behind the toilet there because they all do it but there she is eyes open she's eating pretty good so I will let her rest for about an hour or so and go put her out there with the rest of the characters all right okay so here we are this character laid an egg it was soft but it was laid an egg now full of energy and everything so now I'm gonna put him back in the coop wait 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 look it wants to get off it wants to get off what I normally do wait 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 baby wait 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 what I normally do is I bring him over here put him by the food and uh, as you can see, she's eating. And that's very good. And then from there, they can drink water. And before you know it, they're just part of the gang there. So she will be okay. This is number 11 that I've saved. So I'm very happy about that. So. From what I've learned is, if you catch them early, all you have to do is feed them and give them some water so that the energy goes back up, that they're not dehydrated anymore. And then they perk up and they have enough energy to push that egg out. So, I had done some research and I had read that if you lubricate the canal where the egg comes out of, it helps them. So I do that before I put them uh, in an area where they can rest and 
have peace and quiet and everything. And uh, so far, so good. It seems to be working, so I'm happy with that. And I don't know what else people are doing out there, but that's what I'm doing, and I will continue to do it because it's been working for me. So there it is. All right, guys. Okay, this character is the one that uh, was dying this morning and brought it back to life, and it gave an egg. Then about three in the afternoon, I went out to check on him, and it was stretched out with his leg, wouldn't stand up, it was just close to death. No, I'm sorry. I went out at three, and it was okay. I went out at five, and it was damn near dying. So it went from full of energy and everything to nothing in two hours. So anyway, I brought it back and it was super hot so I put it in some lukewarm water. Then gave it some of that very loose speed with some water. And look at it now. Right now it's about uh, seven. So in about two hours I got it to perk up and there it is, it's eating, making a mess. That's okay as long as it eats. And the amazing thing is, well, it's amazing that it came back to life. But just this morning it put out an egg. And right now, it put out that soft shell with some egg white. The yolk went down the drain. I, I have a photo of it. But there is another egg. Now I'm thinking that perhaps It had uh, a couple of days worth of eggs backed up or something because they just put up another one this afternoon. One this morning and one this afternoon. Now it's got a lot of energy, enough to make a mess. Look at that mess it's making. But that's okay as long as it eats and lives, it'll be okay. Good job. Good job. Okay. Hopefully, it'll come back to life and stay alive and won't die overnight. We'll find out tomorrow. Watching. See you next time. See you. Bye bye.